Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam. In our previous segment, we went over all the news on 12th Gen Core for mobile, as well as the expanded family for Alder Lake on the desktop. It was also the reveal of the Intel Evo third generation, which will also be available for H series laptops with Intel Arc discrete graphics. And that brings us to today's central topic. What's the latest on Intel graphics? Lisa Pierce of Intel's Visual Compute Group announced at CES 2022 that Intel is now shipping Intel Arc discrete GPUs for 12th gen H series mobile designs to leading OEM customers. For example, the Alienware X17 premium gaming laptop powered by a 12th gen H series processor with Intel Arc GPU. It's also Alienware's thinnest 17 inch gaming laptop to date. For those seeking more form flexibility, another example is Lenovo's next generation yoga that enables high performance mobile content creation and enhanced gaming, all in a device with a 360 degree hinge and a stylus. In total, there'll be more than 50 mobile and desktop designs all using Arc. And Intel Arc won't be just merely another discrete graphics option for 12th gen core platforms. There'll be additional benefits from pairing these two Intel technologies together. And for that, I thought it'd be fun to have a chat with Tuan, one of the technical experts in Intel's graphics business. Follow me. Hey Tuan, thanks for joining me today. So I've heard about Intel DeepLink uh, with Iris XE Max. Uh, what does that mean for Arc GPUs? So Intel Arc is engineered completely with Deep Link in mind, including support for dynamic power share, which we debuted with Iris Xe Max last year. Cool. So how does that work with Intel Arc GPUs paired with Intel 12th gen processors? So the platform level integration enables the system to intelligently route power between the CPU and GPU and boost performance on where you need it most. New this year is an upgrade to DeepLink hyperencode that speeds up processing of a single video file by leveraging the media engines of both the iGPU and Intel Arc. So our testing has shown that you can gain about a 1.4 times performance uptick in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So you can process your videos, export them, and upload them to your platform of choice quicker. Right, so that Intel DeepLink hyperencode, I remember seeing a demo of that from Lisa's uh, keynote section. And in fact, we've got a video of that, so let's roll that right now. This is DaVinci Resolve, which is a popular video editing program from Blackmagic Design. We're showing the export process where an edited video is encoded for sharing. You select Render All to start the export. On the top of the screen, you can see the frames that are currently being encoded. In the middle, we're using our free public tool, the Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer, to show our activity on both our integrated and discrete GPUs. And at the bottom, you can see the progress bar blown up from the DaVinci Resolve UI. As you can see, a traditional system would only utilize one of the devices during the encode process. In contrast, on the right side, the system has hybrid encode active. Also notice how quickly the progress bar is moving on the hyper encode side. You can see both GPUs are active in encoding frames. By combining the power of our integrated and discrete GPUs, the Alchemist HyperEncode system completes the encode 1.4x faster than a discrete GPU alone. That's pretty cool, especially for content creators working with video. But what about gamers? Gamers are important to the success of Intel Arc, and we're focused on bringing great gaming experiences to our users. The first step is partnering with game developers to ensure your favorite titles run flawlessly on Intel Arc. Cool, so uh, what are some of those specific games? We announced our partnership with Kojima Productions and 505 Games this week, which is bringing the director's cut of Death Stranding to PC this spring. So the definitive version of Death Stranding will support our AI-based XESS image upscaling technology, so you can experience ultra-quality settings with high performance. So the Death Stranding director's cut joins Hitman 3, The Riftbreaker, and more titles to take advantage of our XESS technology. That's not all. We're also working with over 10 other studios, including Ubisoft, Codemasters, PUBG Studios, and more to enable XCSS support in games throughout 22. This is only the beginning of our Intel Arc journey, but there's more news and excitement ahead. OK, that's great. So Intel DeepLink with Hyper and Code sounds like a great thing for the videos we make. And of course, XCSS sounds like this great upscaling solution for all the games that I'm looking forward to next year. So Tuan, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me, dude. Of course. And that is Intel Talking Tech for today. Thanks so much for joining. Of course, there'll be more from CES 2022. Stay tuned to the Intel Technology Channel on YouTube. I'm Marcus Yam. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.